Hello everybody! Welcome to the Three Lotus Tarot. Thank you for being here again. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoy your reading. And at the end of the day, you will choose to subscribe to our channel, the Three Lotus Tarot, so we can grow this channel and bring you more readings three times a week. All right, so today we are going to find out what is your energy for the week coming up. I will only show you the symbols for our piles today. No cards, so choose your pile or piles combination that you're most drawn to. Okay, pile one, pile two, and pile three. And when you're ready, you can go to the description box below and check out your timestamps for pile one, pile two, and pile three. Oh, I should show you the flowers up close. Pile one, pile two, this is the peony, and pile three, the sunflower. Okay, so I'd also like to tell you that the energies that we're going to read for the upcoming week are of course not set in stone because you still have free will to change, to make decisions, to make um, um, use any approaches that you feel more comfortable with, that you feel is the right thing to do. But the readings will give you a heads up as to what could come into your week coming up and then forewarned is forearmed is what I always say okay pal one pal two and pal three I'll see you in your reading hello pal one welcome to your reading you chose this flower and now I'm going to draw some cards for us to be able to read what are your energies so what are the main energies that will be surrounding you for the week of the 26th of June till the 2nd of July. Okay, as mentioned, remember, you still have free will, but forewarned is forearmed about what may come up around you this week. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of cards from the self-care oracle deck and the Archangel Power Tarot cards, right? So let's see which cards are calling out to me for you this one this one and then we're going to get the archangel uh, power oracle deck i've already pre-shuffled these but i just wanted to shuffle them again Okay, which card which card this one and I do want to say that I still don't have my glasses yes 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 I still don't have my uh, real glasses which uh, I have ordered so I may take some time to read these but I thought that somehow I wanted to use these decks even though I have uh, difficulty reading okay and um, Right, so the energies for you this week is to 33, ooh, make a vision board and look for fairies. You know what this tells me, guys? This tells me that there is an opportunity around you this week to throw caution to the wind, throw facts to the wind, throw logic to the wind and focus on what your heart truly wants, what the limits of your imagination tell you. So have fun this week. Have fun. It is a time for you now to unleash yourself. Let your hair down. Dance like nobody is watching. Oh, beautiful energy. I love this. And can you please take a look at this card? It's beautiful, isn't it? So play hide and seek with the fairies. Look at their gossamer wings. Look at their beautiful dresses and their tiny elfin faces. It's, it's really um, time for you, whether you have been in stressful situations before or you've not been able to have much fun lately, but now, this week, it is a perfect time for you to let loose. You are asked and advised to let loose and let your imagination rule your world for this one week coming up. Pile one. Okay. And then you also have the three of Raphael, which is um, 
like that gathering like the three of cups the gathering of friends and also the page of michael so let me have a read about this okay the three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate, guys. See? A community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So look at look at that. Even that what you see here, the mermaids, they're like mythical creatures, imaginary, right? So let your creative juices flow. This is not a week for you to hold on tight to the reins and the realm of your logic in facts and and statistics and data but it is time for you to let your hair down and party okay in in so many different aspects not just not just the real partying aspect but just like you know push the boundaries you know uh, if you're into ideation yeah you know you could have like all sorts of things coming up for you this week okay now you also have the page of Raphael which says, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Yes. So excitement. See, this is this is when he discovers um, electricity, right? So again, you see, all four cards that are here for you, Pile 1, is telling you to um, really strive for the utmost. Even that which you thought may have been impossible could be possible to you this week or you could somehow just find creative ways hybrid ways tweak this and that to make the almost impossible happen so I hope that has been a great short reading for you. I try to make the Monday readings short so that you can get on with your day because I know it's a busy day, but I think that this is a beautiful energy, a beautiful reading to tell you what's coming up in your week, Pal 1, 26th of June to the 2nd of July. I hope this has been wonderful. You know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to the Three Lotus Tarot. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, pal two. You have chosen this flower, the peony, for your energy reading this week of the 26th of June to the 2nd of July. So we're going to use two piles here and I've already pre-shuffled these cards. But we're just going to get the cards. Let's see which one is calling out to me for pal Two. Okay, so let's see. These are your cards, pal. Two. We're going to go through them, and then we also have the Archangel Power Oracle deck. Let's see what cards are calling out to me. Yes, this one and this one. And you know I like to keep the, um, I'm starting, trying to keep the Monday reading uh, short, right? So that you can get your reading and know what energy is around you this week. And then you can go on to, uh, with the rest of your day. All right, so let's, uh, let's put these cards out. This is your energy pile two for the week of the 26th of june to the 2nd of july so we've got 22 energy work and take a walk okay so the secret self-care uh, cards are telling me pal too that this is a time now when you may need some rest you may need some rest and rejuvenation of yourself. Maybe you've had some um, draining times happen or you've had a really just busy, exciting time prior to this. So this, uh, this week, you are advised to take some time to breathe in and center yourself, ground yourself, align your chakras if you believe in that and if you feel that, if you know how to do it. Um, if you're interested, please go check out some videos on how to do it. Meditation is beautiful. Or if you don't want to meditate, don't like to meditate, don't know how to meditate, then just take some time, certain times in the day. Breathe in deeply, breathe out. Breathe in deeply, breathe out. For like five minutes at a time. Let nothing else come into distraction for you so that you can just get some... some um, um, 
rest i think your your soul and your energy your essence needs some rest and some centering okay also take some time out to go out into nature into into um, the grass and the trees the hills you know breathe the fresh air look at the blue sky see birds listen to the sounds of nature because uh, i think that's going to um perk you up again you may you may not know that you're tired but your soul and energy within you uh, i believe needs some perking up needs some propping up some replenishment some refresh okay so just take some time you don't have to go do it with people do go do it with friends no you can do it all on your own and in fact, it would be a good time for you if you can't, if you don't like doing things by yourself. This may be a good time for you to just try a short stint, you know, by yourself. So to learn how to be happy and uh, be comfortable with yourself in your own presence. Hmm. Okay, that's a deep message for you, pal, too. Okay, we also have the Five of Michael and the Four of Ariel from the Archangel Power Oracle deck. I still don't have my proper glasses with me, so bear with me while I read this for you, okay? So the Five of Michael says, This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Yes, so it has been tiring. It has been stressful. It has been draining somehow something's going on in your life that make, is making your soul feel this way and that's why you need this okay because the five the energy of the five is a lack a loss a conflict you know it's just things that are not aligning properly smoothly seamlessly so you are advised to take a rest discusses that situation does not serve you okay you also have the four of ariel and it says when you give you also receive you are being resistant to change this uh, this card t tells us that you know you could have a tendency of being resistant to change and it be extreme in how you save or spend money so i think the first line there is the most important when you give you also receive pal too and remember if you push yourself to burn out, if you push yourself to the limit again and again and again without giving yourself rest, without giving yourself time to uh, rejuvenate, without giving yourself time to grow and develop and learn, at the end of the day, it will come back to you in not the most positive of forms. So when you give, if you're giving to others because you're always doing for others, um, they receive, yes. But remember, when you give to yourself, you will also receive and you will be in a better state, healthier state, more happy state, more fulfilled, more centered, more aligned state to be able to live the life that you need to live, that you're here to live. And in the in the in the event of living your life, you will still be able to help others and give to the others around you, but only if you are in the best state possible. So please take that advice to heart, pal two for the this week of the 26th of June to the 2nd of July. Um, take a rest and go out into nature to heal yourself because mother nature will take away the stresses and give you peace and calm and serenity. Okay, I'm keeping this short because it's for Monday, so you can go on and do what you need to do, which is for you, pal, to taking a time for yourself. Uh, do give me a like, comment, share, subscribe to the Three Lotus Tarot, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, pal, three. Thank you for being here. You have chosen the sunflower pile three and we are going to do a short reading for you for today for your energies of the week uh, remember free will and all that because you still have a lot of um, um, freedom to make your own choices but the energies that we see here today will tell you what is uh, coming around you and it will give you a chance to prepare yourself it will give you a chance to it will give you a chance to um, decide how you want to do things okay uh, let's take um, your cards 
Okay, these three stand out to me. I was going to take two, but these three stand out to me. So I'm going to take all three of them. I still don't have my glasses. Um, I have ordered new ones, but yeah, I may find it a little bit difficult to read. So please bear with me while I read uh, your cards for you, okay? So, pile three, let's take a look. What's in store for you upcoming this week? Sing, 45 and 11, connecting with crystals. So Sing tells me... Um, um, you will have a chance this week to showcase yourself. You will have a chance to be able to uh, display, put on display your true talent and probably what you really enjoy doing as well. You know, you may be called upon by people in your circle, whether at work or your friends or your family. You'll be called upon to come on on stage in the spotlight, so to speak, and showcase your talent, showcase your special skill set. Mm. It also tells me for some others of you, it is time to unleash your creativity. If you've not had enough creativity, if you've thought about wanting to start a creative project or do something creative or something out of your norm, then please, this week, it's a great week to go ahead and do that because we see the energies around you are very, very supportive and encouraging of these kinds of initiatives. All right. You also have connecting with crystals, which to me tells me that you need to be true to yourself. You need to look at yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I want? What is it that I want in life? What is it that I want to do? Who do I want to be? And align um, uh, your lifestyle, align the way you behave, the decisions that you're making in line with that uh, goal in mind. Okay, uh, well, big things for a short reading, huh? Okay, so pile three, you also have from the Archangel Power Oracle deck. What do the angels say? There is the five of Michael here, the ten of Ariel, and the knight of Raphael. So five of Michael, give me, uh, bear with me yeah, as I read this. Uh, five of Michael, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So now may be an opportune time to do this, like I mentioned. Uh, taking a good, clear look, uh, taking a revised look, perhaps even, uh, because what you thought you wanted, how you wanted to do things, or what you wanted to achieve in life may be different now as people change as time changes as situations and environments change so take a relook i would say maybe if you have a life plan or what you want to do who you want to be take a relook because this week uh, you probably have that that sense of self you probably have that clarity of mind to be able to do this so it's a good time to to look at what does not serve you anymore and move away from that into more uplifting more serving better serving um, activities or plans or initiatives okay you also have the tan of Ariel beautiful that is so very much to be grateful for financial success in the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life so look at that you know enjoying yourself having a chit chat over coffee at a Parisian sidewalk cafe I mean what could be what could be more alluring than that so you have that um, you do have a good time uh, there's a good energy happy energy contented energy around you this week um, and that is why perhaps when you're calm and you're happy and you're kind of grateful is the time when you're able to better see what it is you want going forward in your life okay you also have the night of Raphael Power 3, which says committed to romantic relationships being swept off your feet in situations or topics that may make your heart a flutter. Ooh, perhaps this weekend in Paris is with somebody who is important to you, right? But, well, you know, make some time out for, you know, a, a romantic partner, perhaps. Uh, that could be part of your creative project also. Or you could be asked to see that this new person in your life, a new partner in your life, uh, is what causes you to have to change your life plan now. Ooh, that is so exciting. Okay, so for the short reading for Monday, I'm going to leave it at that. And I hope you take the advice. Um, 
Get on with your busy day, but remember, creative pursuits are a chance to showcase your talents and skill sets. Okay, give me a thumbs up, please. If you've liked this reading, comment, share, subscribe to the Three Lotus Tarot. I look forward to bringing these readings for you all the time, three times a week. And until I see you in the next one.